while there are some 90 day fiance and 90 day fiance before the 90 day stars that fans rally behind other cast members are disliked for a variety of reasons including being perceived as untrustworthy Viewers of the popular franchise have watched dozens of 90DF couples finally meet up since 2014. The series focuses on couples maintaining long-distance relationships, as well as the complicated process of immigrating to the United States. Unfortunately, there have been several instances throughout the years where the person one partner talks to online isn't the same person they meet in real life, whether in terms of looks, personality, or life experience. With catfishing easy to do on the internet, many cast members have been called out by their partners and TLC audiences for their dishonesty. Jeffrey Paschal from B90 Season 3, for example, was caught lying and manipulating so much that he was banned from that season's reunion. Fans may also remember Rebecca Parrott lying about her age, appearance, and marital status on B90 Season 2. Season 4 star Jorge Nava intentionally omitted his financial status and criminal record, and more recently, Gino Palazzolo from Season 5 denied having inappropriate interactions with other women. Dot from white lies to blatant attempts at deception, there are some 90 day fiancé and 90 day fiancé. Before the 90 day stars that have irreversibly ruined their reputations among co stars and viewers. Here are some of the biggest names in the 90 Day Fiancé universe that fans just cannot trust. Larissa Dos Santos Lima. Larissa Dos Santos Lima and Colt Johnson are one of the most notorious couples from 90 Day Fiancé Season 6, with Larissa shockingly being arrested twice for domestic violence. Colt proposed only five days after first meeting up with the Brazilian in Mexico. The newly engaged couple, who lived in Las Vegas with Colt's mother Deborah Johnson, immediately began to butt heads. TLC viewers witnessed several explosive fights involving Larissa, Colt, and Colt's family members. It's true that Colt was not an innocent player in their volatile relationship, with the star not only shutting off Larissa's cell phone service, but having her arrested by ICE after threatening to have her deported. That being said, Larissa's pattern of getting physical with Colt is something that 90DF fans refuse to support, and many continue to dislike the star and her ex-husband. Kimberly Menzies. Kim Menzies and Usman Sohaboy humor are known for appearing on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 5, although Usman was previously featured on B90 Season 4 with Lisa Hamm. While the majority of viewers don't doubt that the 50 year old has real feelings toward Usman, Kim has been criticized for displaying manipulative and problematic behavior. Between pressuring Usman to have unprotected sex and buying the 32-year-old Nigerian expensive gifts like a MacBook, Kim's motives with the up-and-coming rapper have been repeatedly questioned by fans of the series. Kim's attitude towards Usman isn't the only criticism the B90 star is facing, either, as Kim has also made her dislike towards co-stars like Zamina morales Kuler and Ella Johnson clear. The tell-all may have recently aired with the B90 season 5 couples, but Kim's mean girl behavior hasn't done her any favors. Edward Big Ed Brown. Big Ed is one of the most recognized 90DF stars across the entire franchise. Known for going after much younger women and unsanitary grooming habits, Ed's appearances over the years have made fans trust him less instead of more. His relationships with Rosemary Rose Vega on B90 Season 4 and Liz Woods on 90 Day. The single life were both deemed to be flops upon each show's airing. 
viewers are particularly unenthused with Ed's preference for women in their 20s at almost 60 years of age. While people were upset with Ed's lies and manipulation tactics towards Rose, who was then a single mother in the Philippines, it was a leaked phone call that captured audio of him yelling at and insulting Liz that had 90 DFNs calling for his removal. Ed and Rose may be well known thanks to memes and screenshots of their meetings on the internet, but that doesn't make Big Ed, 56, any more likable. Ben Rathbun, ben Rathbun and Mahogany Roca's relationship throughout B90 Season 5 has been nothing short of a rollercoaster ride since the season kicked off last December. Fans may have been skeptical of 22-year-old Mahogany in the beginning due to speculation that she was catfishing. Once the Venezuelan was proven to be real, however, the focus began to shift to Mahogany's clear disinterest in 52-year-old Ben. Mahogany would go weeks without answering text messages and even told Ben not to come to Peru, her home country. Therefore, Ben's insistence on them being together rubbed Mahogany and viewers the wrong way. Between the former pastor's recent criminal history coming to light and Ben's comments about women made during the B90 season 5 tell-all, Ben's bad attitude and compulsive lies have put him at the very bottom for fans. Andrew Kenton. Andrew Kenton and Amira Alyssa's relationship was the talk of the town throughout 90 Day Fiancé season 8, and from the start, fans were identifying signs that their engagement won't last. While Amira, who is from France, and Andrew seemed to have a genuine connection at first, Andrew's nonchalance at Amira getting detained in Mexico sent TLC viewers into an uproar. After casually calling a few officials to try and get answers, Andrew eventually resorted to sitting back and enjoying his vacation in Mexico. If that wasn't enough, once Amira was about to finally meet up with Andrew in the United States, the 34-year-old began sending disrespectful text messages. To the delight of 90DF fans, Amira decided to end a relationship, refusing to board a plane from Serbia. While many people were hoping that Andrew would accept responsibility for his actions and apologize, his walk-off during the 90DF season 8 tell-all and his accusation that TLC was editing poorly haven't helped his reputation. Mike Burke. Mike Burke and Zemino are considered one of the worst matched couples on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day season 5. Mike and Zemina, a 24-year-old mother of two from Colombia, had a troubled relationship that hit its peak once Mike traveled back to Zemina's hometown. When Zemina decided to break up with Mike for his behavior and, like Ed, unacceptable hygiene habits, the 34-year-old American's shockingly manipulative response quickly solidified him as a B90 villain. From refusing to leave Zamina's apartment to shaming her work as a cam girl, Mike was immediately condemned by the 90DF fandom, with his recent appearance on the B90 season 5, tell all doing him no favors. Now that 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day season 5 is over after months of weekly episodes, fans are already looking towards future installments in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. With hundreds of cast members spread out over more spin-offs like 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After? 90 Day Fiancé. Pillow Talk and 90 Day Fiancé. The other way, fans are more adept at identifying lies and mismatched stories from those featured. Although several stars of the TLC show have been able to regain fans' trust or never lost it, there are others that still have a long way to go. I'm this trip to 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 I'